Okay. So if you look on the barrel here, you can see some lubrication down there. Put lubrication on it because it's a rotating barrel. Um, this is a Grand Power P11 Mark 12. Uh, it's very similar to the uh, Beretta PX4 Storm Compact and Subcompact in that uh, those two also have rotating barrels. Um, the full size Beretta Storm does not have a rotating barrel, so that's why I didn't mention that. Um, so, and, and you can see how it's very lubed up. And the reason it's lubed up like that and is because, and that's grease, that's TW25B. Um, the reason it's lubed up this way is because the last time I took it to the range, uh, it was failing to go back in the battery. Um, and it was doing it on every other round, uh, every other magazine. Uh, you know, there were some magazines where I was able to get through a full uh, magazine without any issues. But, oh, what was I firing? Um, Remington... UMC, uh, jacketed hollow points, uh, 115 grain. So the 115 grain might be the problem. Um, I know some guns are, are, are more sensitive to, to ammo than others. And I used the same ammo in my Springfield XD9 Mod 2 9mm. And it had no issue whatsoever. Um, so... I wanted to run through some of the things that I think might be causing the failure to return the battery. Um, one thing is maybe limp wristing, um, but I, I don't, I've never had a problem with limp wristing. But uh, I have a variety of guns. Um, some of them are harder to hold than others, and this is a subcompact. And while uh, I don't have any problem holding <coughs> the XD9. Uh, the grip textures are quite different. They're more aggressive on the on the Springfield Springfield than this gun is. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that the gun is clear. It's nothing. Okay. So. What it was doing was it was failing to return the battery maybe uh, maybe an inch or so. it was the slide was had maybe an inch or so uh, it was an inch or so out out here um, but it was loose enough to where I could use my my thumb to push the slide back I did that once uh, not this hand but the, the supporting hand um, as well um, I'm not sure if it was it was a lip bursting issue because holding this now this thing doesn't have the best of grips it's out of all my guns this is probably uh, the slipperiest uh, this the, the most slippery grip uh, with the exception of maybe my uh, Equinox uh, P220 um, those grips are slick uh, they're more for show than anything uh, but this uh, maybe I'll need to get some uh, some grip tape and uh, shore this up um, so so that's uh, I suspect maybe it might be partly due to limp wristing but again I normally don't have that problem um, this is a new gun it has less than a hundred round shot through it I think 60 um, but even when I first took it to the range, there there were issues, uh, not at the level of, uh, you know, the last range visit. But again, you know, on the first range visit only fired like 30 rounds out of it, maybe less than that, uh, 24. Um, this time I fired 30 or 40. Um, so maybe I experienced more issues because I fired more. Um, but 
Okay, another problem might be the magazines, uh, the springs. But these are new, these are new uh, magazines. Um, I don't think uh, I don't have any problem filling them to the max, or so they're not super strong. And what I did do uh, was just a few minutes ago, I took these apart um, and cleaned them um, just to make sure that there wasn't any grease or carbon or anything in there that was causing, you know, uh, I guess uh, feed issues. Um, what this does amount to, I do believe it's more of a feed issue. Um, but I, again, I cleaned these out and I also, uh, where, where are they at? <clears throat> I did some testing with the snap caps and uh, they still do hang up but they only hang up when I like when I rack the slide and I slingshot it there's there's never an issue um, if I slingshot it properly but if I kinda uh, s uh, slingshot it uh, or let it go slowly it, it'll exhibit it'll exhibit the same uh, symptoms uh, which is the failure to return the battery so um, I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's not limp wristing or maybe it's a combination of limp wristing and low powder in, in, the, in the rounds that I'm shooting. Um, as well, let me uh, lock the slide back here. And I'm not sure if you can see, see that, but I can't, I don't want to take the gun apart. Okay, yeah, you can see it. See the feed ramp is polished. And I did read a couple of, uh, there's no knowledge of this gun anywhere. I mean, you hear people talking about, um, see that, it's, it's got a little scratch on it. But uh, you hear people saying, oh, hey, I bought a, uh, a P11 Mark 12, um, or I took it to the range and it fired flawlessly, but you hardly ever hear of someone diagnosing a problem I do I have read of inst instances where people are uh, experiencing a uh, feed issues similar to mine but there you know every time I look for a resolution I don't see one any so what I did was I figured okay well the storm has a, a similar barrel mechanism you know they both have rotating barrels so what I did was I kind of researched against that and I got more information um, so these rotating barrels um, they have pivot points and some say that the pivot points need to be uh, lubricated so and that is why you see the grease on the underside of the barrel there I did not put lube on the on the barrel itself but there is a crossbar and I believe it's right here and you can see the button right there um, that's that's where it's secured uh, I put um, grease on that crossbar thinking that okay well it could it could rub off on the on the areas that you know that might have friction and uh, so I'll have to test that when I go to the range I also made sure that the this has a very large uh, a very long uh, you can't see it here rail that the slide rides on so I put grease all along that and then I also put grease on the inside of the uh, the rail slots on the on the slide itself on the underside um, what else did I do I did not lube the barrel I did that last time and it didn't seem like it it needed it but what I probably do need to do is lube um, let me set the gun down I've only got one free hand here um maybe lube on the underside of the sl slide where these two make contact that probably might help some and i did that last time as well uh, before i went to the range um and lastly maybe uh, and i read this as well um change uh change ammo so and not just you know another 115 grain uh, brand but uh maybe try different a different grain so the only grains I have are 115 for 9 millimeter so uh, what I did was I ordered uh, 124 grain 
and uh, I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for Gander to, to ship it. Yes, I ordered from Gander Mountain. Um, and those are those specific ones are jacketed hollow points, but I wanted to factor out the jacketed hollow points as well because uh, that's what I fired the times I went to the range and it was acting up. So maybe the feed ramp might not like uh, those uh, the nose on those rounds. So I ordered um, some round nose full metal jacket, 124 grain, and I want to try that on this gun. And also I went ahead and ordered, I believe it's 500 rounds of uh, 124 grain. And I do believe that is a brass something. I see it. I see it see it sold in bulk at uh gander mountain all the time but this time i didn't use uh gander mountain i might have used uh ammo ammo fast.com um but we're gonna try out all of these and and next time i go maybe tonight i'll go um i'll use gloves i do have gloves in my bag in my range bag um i just didn't think to use them I, because to be honest, I'm not sure if it's actually limp wristing, but it, I mean it could be. I, I you know I pride myself on having good grips on the gun, um, which is maybe why the, the problem is so intermittent. Maybe you know sometimes I have good grip, other times I don't, and or maybe as uh, I fire, my hands get slick from oils and contaminants and 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 maybe uh, sweat. But um. So we'll try, we'll try a combination of things, uh, different grain rounds, uh, different nose round. Um, I did shoot a magazine of a regular Remington uh, Mega Box uh, 115 grain uh, full metal jacket, and I can't, you know, I fired 180, 190 rounds. The last range visit visit between two guns, and uh, honestly, I can't remember how how well that uh those rounds went out of this gun, uh those uh those full metal jacket uh round nose. Um, but again, they were 115 grain, so I'm I'm trying different stuff, and maybe next time I'll I'll stay out to the range longer so I can test because I really want to get this uh remedied because uh if this one's gonna be problematic then it's gone you know I'll, I'll i'll sell it with full disclosure to someone who might you know want it and i'll i'll just fund a a glock 26 or or 43 um or even one of you know that new uh, uh johnic uh, tp9 version 2 you know i do have a listing of guns that i that i i might want and it, this is a nice gun i like it because the uh <clears throat> the recoil is very manageable because of the, the rotating barrel. You know, it takes a lot of heat and snap, uh, uh, snappishness out of the gun. Um, especially it being a 9mm and all. Um, and a subcompact as well. But um, uh, the rotating barrel really helps with uh, follow on shots. Um, and, you know, I was gunning pretty good at one point um you know just kind of firing stuff out with follow-on shots and and was looking at the targets you know every now and again and like was like whoa okay well that's that's nice um so i would rather not have to get rid of this gun which is why i'm trying to spend the uh dedicate some time to figure out what's going on with it um yes i could uh alert eagle imports but really what I want to do is instead of telling them what the symptoms are, I want to uh, arm myself with a little bit of knowledge <clears throat> before reaching out to them so that, you know, if they come, you know, come back with saying, try this, try this, try this, and I can, I can say I've already tried it. Um, but really, I, I don't want to be getting into the okay well you know let's send you send it back and we'll you know we'll do some work on it and having to do that several times or you know i just i spent uh, these guns are not really cheap for polygons 
they cost just as much as a uh, a brand new Gen 4 Glock. This one cost me, I think, uh, 530 bucks. Um, in my opinion, that is on that's on a higher end for 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 an import an import polygon. Um, now, granted, this thing fires a whole lot better than a Glock. I'm telling you right now, um, and, and I'm not and I'm not BSing either because that, that the very first um, the very first magazine I shot out of this, they were all in the uh, in the eight ring, um, and I am still rather new to uh, to handguns. And for me to pick this up, especially after firing three other uh, um, handguns that day not being familiar with this gun at all and that to be able to have that at that type of accuracy out of a subcompact that was that was significant to me um it, i was shocked because normally when i go back to you know when i jump from one gun to another it takes me several magazines to actually get that level of a you know of, of accuracy and even then I don't think I've ever shot that accurate before with a handgun. It was it was super accurate. I, w I was shocked. And uh, you know, I, w I fired from s seven yards out. Um, there was a second between the second to su two seconds pause between the uh, the. Uh, it wasn't rapid fire, but it wasn't slow fire either. And and that's what made me kind of kind of you know have that whoa moment you know um it's a it's a good gun so so i i want i want this to to work out and you know looking at other people's reviews uh, i rarely see anyone who actually conducts a review actually have a problem like i'm having with the gun um there is one guy on my uh, youtube channel that chimed in and said that he thinks that they're junk because he's experienced issues with it but uh, <clears throat> you know, you you see these people who say that, and, but they don't never, you know, if he could provide me with a uh, a video, or I can kind of know what his expertise level with 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 handguns is, uh, that would maybe validate or invalidate his claim. I I don't know. I mean, the internet is so big nowadays, and everyone wants to uh to be an advocate or or hate on a particular gun for the sake of you know of having a voice you know, you know and uh, I'm all about free speech and everything like that but at the same time there's so much knowledge on the internet not everyone in the world is an expert and I'm certainly not an expert either but um I mean, here, here I am. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what I'm gonna do to try and, and uh, work out, work through these problems. A lot of people you don't see doing that when they review. They only review when, when they, uh, when they first buy the gun, and then you never hear anything else. You never see a follow-up review on how the gun's been doing, uh, unless it's one of the big name reviewers like uh, Such Double Zero, nothing fancy. Um, um, uh, Hiccup 45, uh, Mr. Guns and Gear, uh, they typically do that type of thing, but I wish the average gun reviewer and, and gun owner that, that spends the time to, to make a video would do follow-up reviews. I really do. Um, or try and diagnose a problem with a particular, uh, with a, with a gun that they might be having instead of just kind of just throwing out a, 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 an eight minute video on something that they may or may not be you know I guess uh, an expert on or or knowledgeable in you know so so yeah you know I make my videos long this is this is going on 20 minutes right now but um, I'm pretty sure I'm I've been on point in this video. I've rarely talked about any other gun um, I'm, I'm you know When I when I make my videos, I don't sit here and I don't draw an outline and I don't cover a, uh, What do you call it? Uh, 
what what does nut nut and pansy do a uh, uh, point of something um philosophy or something like that um i don't I, you know i don't do that crap but i typically don't rant and rave and hop around all over the place like he does either um so so instead of a, a 40 or 45 minute video from me from from him you got a 20 minute video with me staying on point so uh so yeah so uh once i i could take this gun to to the range tonight but what i really want to do is wait until the uh the 124 grain and 147 grain ammo comes in so i could test it without having to kind of you know, if I test it tonight, I'm going to have to go back out anyways. Once I get that, that other ammo in. So what I'll do is I think I'll wait a couple of days, wait for that ammo to get in. Um, I can't find it locally. I've already tried. Uh, the only place I haven't checked is Dick's. Um, or at like local gun shops. I, what I checked, uh, I checked Walmart. I checked some places online that were local what um oh yeah I checked Gander Mountain and the Gander Mountain might actually have it it's just that they're they're quite a ways out from me um and then I don't feel like chasing ammo you know I've got some coming I can just wait so so it's not the magazines it might be me limp wristing um it might be that I just need gloves um, it might be the ammo that I'm using, the, the nose, um, it might be, uh, the nose of the ammo. It might be that I need a different grain, um, and I haven't even tried plus P, but I don't want to be shooting plus P on a normal basis out of this gun. Um, I, I would prefer a gun that really isn't picky about ammo, but out of 11 gun, handguns, this is the first and only one that I've noticed is really uh, finicky about ammo or 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 having these these, these failure to battery uh return to battery symptoms so um you know what my dog's trying to bark and she only does this when I'm sitting here talking on video never does it when I'm on the phone always does it when I'm on the video so, what I want to do is I'm, I'm trying to, what I need is something, I don't need, uh, I don't need to be using this, this phone, because I need both hands, but what we'll do is, uh, I'll set the phone down and leave the camera running for a second. So I racked it, did a full slingshot, one round came out. So I'm going to do a lip wrist type. And there it is. This is normally what it looks like when it fails to return the battery. Now normally at the range is when it, when this happens, I usually use my uh, my my sporting hand thumb. I'm right-handed. Um, and I'm able to push this forward and it goes straight forward. But for some reason this is locking up here. Um, the first time I noticed it, I used my palm and kind of did like a, uh, you know, a function, like a, like a, you know, I tried to push it with the heel of my hand or kind of knock it, you know, hit it forward and, uh, and it went forward as well. But, uh, I don't know if it's just because of these rounds, uh, these, these snap caps that it, that it's jamming up here, but if I, uh, pull it back. seated it's not fully seated and I can't it's like it didn't go in all the way but if I pull it back and without drawing another round because remember I still got I got four other rounds or well, three other rounds in the magazine so uh, I couldn't pull it back all the way but I pull it back so that it would have enough force to seat that round again. And I do believe it, it actually knocked it forward because uh, 
it's fully back into a uh, in the battery now so let's see if I can get it to generate again worked fine that time and I did it slowly huh. worked fine that time and did it slowly and it's empty so um so I don't know I don't know I mean the fact that it does that only when I don't properly slingshot the slide tells me that maybe it's a low power ammo issue or or the fact that that particular brand that I was using the Remington UMC uh, jacket at hollow point 115 grain um, it didn't like the the powder in it um, maybe uh, that lot that I have um, has issues um, but again I, you know my XD it wasn't wasn't you know having any problems with it but the, X, the mechanisms on the S, XD are totally different than what's on this gun the spring is different um, the spring is a lot stronger um, I don't know I don't know I mean I, I wish I had more knowledge on handguns so I could better diagnose this but I think I might be headed in the right direction so I've got you know I've got a game plan and I'll I'll sort it out and I'll let you guys know what I come up with all right